So we're here in Faranasi. Um, this is... <laughs> Kobe, go lock your car! <laughs> go lock the car! Oh, my God, I'm going to take the car. Yes. <laughs> We're here in Faranasi. You sure? <laughs> We're here in Faranasi. This is part of the camp we're doing with the school. Um, and this is we're in the we're in the Pinat Chai, the animal corner. Look at this cool place. This is a pub. We can hang out here. Um, the kids are hanging out with the animals. Look at Daniel with the horses. <gasps> We used to ride horses. It's been a very long time. And um, Salah is climbing up here. We're going to all sleep in this huge dome. Um, so super cool. This is really, really the interesting part. Um, first of all, I'm just excited to be here and be a part of this awesome energy. This is like a cool hangout spot. Um, it's really funny. They were talking about the Bedouin Okay, Bedouim are, are Arabs that travel, they move, they, they're like gypsies, they're in tents, they're caravans. And there's Bedouim that have now settled down in a, in a, in a village right, right a few minutes um, south of here called Tuba. And Tuba are known to be thieves. And um, Amir just said that he met someone in Tuba once, and, he, and she's, he's like, oh, where are you from? And she's like, I'm Tuba, the village of thieves. Like, they're known, they're famous for thieves, and they're not embarrassed of it, they're not ashamed of it, it's just sort of who they are. And, and then the woman from Tuba said, well, 5% of our, of our village doesn't steal, you know, but 95% of the people are thieves. And Dana had said that they had tried to do this this animal petting zoo area many times and every time Tuba they come and they just steal the horses, they steal the goats, everything is stolen. Um, and it's it's so funny that like it's it's a uh, it's it's not a shameful thing. Just like you know I guess a gypsy is known, I don't know, to pickpocket or to steal or whatever, then the Tubaim are known as the best thieves. The best thieves. So they're you know Kobe was gonna open a dog uh, training center and uh, kennel and Several people told him because it was outside the gates of one of the kibbutzim, they're like, the Tubaniim are going to take care of you instantly if you do it. Like, they're going to steal the dogs, they're going to steal all your your equipment. So it's like, okay, I guess I won't. Um, so it's just interesting that I, I love that that's like just part of who they are and it's not even a shameful thing. It's like, yeah, we're the thieves. You know, it's part of, it's part of how we've been raised. It's part of our livelihood. Um, thievery. So really looking forward to this. This is going to be a gorgeous event. I'm a chaperone and we're still trying to convince Orat that he wants to be here. But he'll be, he'll be fine. Oh, I feel so bad. Both of his shoes are torn. Like seriously, what kind of white trash parents? I mean, we are totally getting him new shoes tomorrow. Like really good shoes. You know, and like an ice cream to make up for it. <laughs> yeah, right.